Chavez. Good job, us everyone. We're small but mighty tonight. It's... Good job, us. Good job, us. Let's begin with any goon. A 
Good Nigun is supposed to be like the Torah. We take this document, this Torah, we divide it into sections. We read it every year. Every year coming back to these same stories, every year coming back to these same Parshas. What changes is us. This is the idea of a nigun. Simple melody. A melody that you can sing well or sing poorly or make a joyful noise with. But each time we cycle through, we change a little. schmutz we've been carrying this week. I don't know about you, I'd like have schmutz with me this week. Uh, yeah, I see a lot of nodding, right? Like there's, we accumulate this schmutz as we go around the world. In fact, it's the whole idea of tshuva. It's the whole idea of the soul in Judaism. The soul is, and there's all sorts of ideas, like anything else in Judaism, right? There's one idea and 17 answers and none of them are right and all of them are wrong and but one of the ideas, one of the ideas of the soul is that it's who we could be if we were always that best version of ourselves. The Hasidim say the soul is what God sees, what the eternal sees, what the cosmos sees when they look out at us, when we are seen. And so it's always hovering there. It's always waiting for us to become that version of ourselves. But in a world filled with schmutz, it's hard to always be that person. So we take a moment with Shabbos, and this is the whole idea with Shabbos, that we have one day to let go. That we have one day where the things we have accumulated, the things we have carried, the things we have brought with us, 
that weigh us down, the good, the bad, that we take a moment for the exhale, that we take a moment to put them down, we take a moment to just be, to not change. So I invite you to exhale whatever it is that you have been holding with you. I invite you to let go of it for this day. The relationships that we wish could be different, the parts of ourselves, the ways this week we weren't that version of ourselves we wish we'd been. The things in our lives that don't feel like they are what we wanted them to be. On Shabbos, we let it go. In Shabbos, it's not about becoming. It's about being. Was there anyone who had a simcha this week? Anything joyful? Anything to celebrate that we can get you to light the candles? People are shaking their heads. We've got to work on our weeks. It's really, I mean, they're schmutz, but come on, there's got to be simchas too. A birthday, an anniversary, a special something, no one? You took Violet to the park. We'll take it. Come up and light the candles for us. You know, this is the idea with brachas, that we're supposed to find a reason to say a hundred of them every day. And that if you can give a blessing, if you can be grateful for something like going with your granddaughter to the park. Yeah. Great, great, excuse me, great granddaughter. Take in the light, we take it into ourselves. Second chances are important too. We take in that light, we take in the goodness. Shalom, 
Jim would say, we are almost ready to start. Judaism is so much about the liminal, about the in-between space, about trying to remind us again and again and again that this moment is the only moment, that there is no destination, it is just process. It's why we sing the nigun over and over again. It's why we read the Torah over and over again, just, just getting on the precipice of entering into the promised land. And then we start over again. So we sit in this liminal, this space in between the week and in between Shabbos, the space in between the world as it is and the world as it is becoming. We let the twos fade into ones, we let the distances between us begin to go away as we see ourselves as a part of this cosmic wedding of Lechado Di, page 8. Ya la 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 Lechado Di Ya la 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 Pene Shabbat Bene Shabaneka Abela Shamo Vizaho Biriborecha Ishmianu Elam Yuchad Adonai Give Adonai, la 
חייך נגלה. יאי ראי ראי, יאללה לה 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 לך דודי. יאי ראי ראי, יאללה לה 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 לקרס קלה. יאללה לה 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 בני שבת, בני שבת נקבלה. Welcome Shabbos like a bride. We imagine ourselves a part of this cosmic wedding as all the twos become one. Bo'i v'shalom Ha'teret b'ala Gam b'simcha U'v'tzohola Toch emuneh Amsegula, boi chala, boi chala. Yai rei rei, yala la 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 lecha dodi. Yai rei rei, yala la 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 likas kala. Yala la 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 pene shaba, pene shaba nika. If you're standing, I invite you to remain standing as we turn the page. Page 11 for Baruch Hu. Of the choreography of prayer. The times we put our feet together, the times we bow, the times we shuckle. That's that sort of back and forth thing you see. What I love about the choreography is it's almost always really subversive. I think nowhere is it more subversive than in the bows. Whenever we bow in Judaism, whenever we bow in prayer, as we do in Baruch Hu, we bow so that we can stand up before we say the divine name. It's this radical idea. You'd expect that we would bow down when we say the divine name, when we say these words for the eternal, for the cosmos, for God, for the totality. But we don't bow before so that we can stand right back up. It's this reminder in our choreography to be Israel, to be those who struggle, to be those who don't just take as it is, don't just accept it because the world says so, because God said so, but we struggle. We are the ones who stand before our God. We are the ones who question. Abraham, you think of him at Sodom and Gomorrah arguing with God, saying, no, this is not the way the world should be. So we bow, as we do in Baruch Hu, Baruch Hu et, and back up for Adonai.
seated. For the Shema, we have these two meditations. We start with radical smallness. We zoom out on our lives. We zoom out on our world. We zoom out on all that there was, all that there will be, all that there is. We see ourselves as dust. And somehow, somehow it makes it a little bit easier. There's two people who read Ecclesiastes. Who's, well, there's more than two people, but two responses. Who's read Ecclesiastes here? Has anyone read it? Some of us. If you haven't read it, go home and read Ecclesiastes. It's, it'll take you 10 minutes. It's gorgeous Jewish existential literature from 2,400 years ago. But Ecclesiastes, it's radical that this ends up in the Hebrew Bible and the Tanakh. Because Ecclesiastes looks out at the world and says, who knows if anything happens after we die? Who knows if there's anything more than this? Who knows if there's any gain from learning? Everyone lives, everyone dies. Within a few generations, even our names are forgotten. I read Ecclesiastes and I feel liberated. We live in a world where it's too easy to Google us, it's too easy to remember us. Sometimes remembering that we won't be remembered makes it just a little bit easier. Twelve. <laughs> Golel or mit ne choshech, be choshech mit ne or. Umavir yom u mevi laila, umavdil bein yom u vein laila. Adonai tseva ochemo, el chai ve kayam tamidim lo chalenu, leolam baed. Baruch atadonai. Amari Aravim Baruch Atadonai Amari stay at radical smallness. And these two ideas we are called to hold before we say Shema twice a day, every day. To hold this idea of God's perspective of us, of us is so small. And at the same time, to imagine that the universe requires us. This is the Jewish idea, of course. We don't believe that this world is a testing ground. We don't believe that this world is God's quality control for souls. Right? This is one of the worldviews we see. We see a worldview that says that souls are sent here to figure out whether they should go up or down. And this is not a Jewish one. The Jewish view says humans are not the point, but humans were created to be God's subcontractors. The reason there is brokenness in this world is because our souls, each of us, were made to fix one piece of brokenness, to find one divine spark waiting to be lifted up. In fact, there are some Jews, some in the Hasidic world, 
who believe in reincarnation. Is anyone familiar with this? The idea is if we live a life where we forget that we are here to bring repair, that our soul gets sent back again and again and again until we do that one piece that we were made to do, until we fix that one piece of brokenness that only we can fix, until we raise up that piece of light that only we can raise up. So we hold on to this, this idea of our radical smallness and that the whole world exists just for us, just for this moment cover our eyes and say the words of Shema. It's your custom to rise, invite you to do so. It's your custom to be seated. It's your custom to lay down or do yoga or we're into new customs here at CRC. It's Vishinantam <laughs> Uvisharecha Lemantis keru vasitem et comits votai Vitem kiroshim leloechem Ahani adonai eloechem Asherot se tierchem me eret mitraim Leot lachem lelohim Ani adonai eloechem Adonai Elohechem, Amen. I love Purim. Who was at Purim this year? It was a blast, wasn't it? And didn't Bryn do an amazing job? But morality of Purim it's not so great that's the crazy thing about Purim you look at the story you read the scroll of Esther and it's so clearly a fable it's so clearly a fairy tale or it's so clearly it doesn't feel real right it feels like a cartoon almost when you read it I don't mean this pejoratively I just mean when you look at it as a piece of literature that it it feels unreal. It feels taken out of a story of Camelot or something. But what's wild is just how real it is. Forum is the morality of people trying to do terrible to us. And so we respond by doing terrible to them. 
I think maybe that's why there is this custom of becoming intoxicated. It's hard to look at that. It's too human. It's too normal. Pesach, Passover, is the opposite. As much as I love Purim, I love even more being on the other side of it. I love being on this march towards freedom, this march towards Passover, this march towards the world as it could be, rather than the world of Purim, which is all too often the world as it is. The whole idea of Passover, the whole idea of Micha Mocha that we say twice a day, every day, this reminder of our exodus from Egypt, is that the awful that has happened to us in our Jewish past, in our personal past, in our collective lives, in our individual lives, they don't give us special freedoms. The trauma doesn't give us unique privileges creates special obligations. Over and over we're told we were strangers. Like it's a mission statement. Like we have to make sure that no one else is a stranger. And that those who are know that they have a friend. Micha Mocha, our rabbis put in here. Because they knew if we didn't remind ourselves live in the world of Purim all too often. Page 18. about hope we can't inspire ourselves we can't give ourselves hope but we can shine a light that others can see we can be
be that light for each other. We can give each other hope. This is Hashki Vainu. Hashki Vainu Adonai Eloheinu le shalom Hamidenu shomre Ashkivenu Adonai, Eloheinu le shalom, Hamidenu shomre nu le chayim. Allow us to lie and rise in peace, shalom. Allow us to lie and rise in peace. Shalom Ashki venu Adonai Eloheinu le shalom Hamidenu shomreinu le chaim Ashki venu Adonai Eloheinu le shalom Hamidenu shomreinu le chaim Salenu sukat, sukat shlomecha, ufro salenu sukat, shlomecha. Cover over us tonight with a sukat shalom, a shelter of peace for you, for those you love, a sukat shalom over all creation. Over all creation, over all creation, Ashki venu Adonai, Eloheinu le shalom, Hamidenu shomreinu le chaim, Ashki venu Adonai, Eloheinu le shalom, Hamidenu shomreinu le chaim. Rise as we are able, as we turn to the Amidah, which in the evenings is always a time for private, always a time for quiet prayer. The Amidah goes from page 23 until page 32, but don't let the words of the page get in the word, way of the words of your heart. So invite everyone, we'll say uh, the Chatzi Kaddish and then go into the Amidah, each of us on our own, in our own way. And uh, if you're standing, feel free to be seated whenever you are done. Page 22. Yidkadal v'yidkadash ameh rabah Be'omah divra chirute v'yamlich malchute B'chaye chon u'v'yomay chon U'v'chaye rechon b'Yisrael Ba'gala ba'gala U'v'izman kariv Vaimeru Amen. Yesh me rabba mevorach. Be'alam la me almaya. Yid barach. Yid barach. Vishtabach. Vipa vid roman. Vid nase. Vita dar. Vita le. Vita lao. Shemede kudesha brihu. Le la min ko bichata veshirata. Tush pechata venechemata Shtamiran ve'alma Vimeru amen Adonai sefatai tiftach Ufiya gita ilate Cha Adonai sefata tifta ufi agide ilate ha Adonai sefata tifta ufi agide ilate ha Adonai sefata tifta
take a moment. Our hearts a little more open. A prayer for healing. You're thinking of someone. You're thinking of someone who needs a little bit of shalem, a little bit of wholeness, a little bit of peace. So of course, in Hebrew, those are the same word, wholeness and peace. Nefesh, the healing of the body and Rafua Taguf. I said that backwards, but Rafuata Nefesh, the healing of our souls, the healing of our insides. Rafuata Guf, the healing of our bodies. As we know a cure is not always possible, but healing always is. So if you're thinking of someone right now you to share their name. For Bonnie, I was talking to uh, Steve earlier today. Uh, Bonnie had surgery today with our own Dr. Polinsky uh, and is doing okay. And for you, thinking of you. Absolutely. Absolutely. For your mom and for you. I thinking of them, thinking of them, absolutely. It's amazing what we can do with these transplants. It's amazing what we can do when we put our minds towards healing. Yes, yeah, sir. For Samantha's grandma, you said Eileen? Eileen, I, Eileen likes, but Southern, I like this. Eileen, Eileen Taylor, Think, thinking of Samantha's grandma. And, and then her mom, uh, For Shelly Strauss, thinking of her. Yes, sir. For Carol. Uh, for Mary Kilroy. And for Deb Wafer, who lost Ralph uh, just this last week. Amazing, amazing people. Friday night regulars before the pandemic and just founders of the congregation. That funeral was pretty incredible. Um, seeing the community around them, seeing the community that they built. Thanks, sir. See him, but yeah. Grace. Ugh. Thinking of her, thinking of your husband, thinking of you, thinking of your whole family. Chelsea, do we have names from the stream? Yes, we're praying for Jessica Klein. For Jessica Klein, thanks Michael. And I'm thinking of my mom who had the second part of uh, uh, Parkinson's brain surgery today uh, and is doing well, is at home, is uh, in some pain but recovering and hopefully the beginning of good things. Page 34. Help us 
must find the courage to make our lives a blessing and let us say Amen Bless those in need of healing with refuah shlema, the renewal of body, the renewal of spirit, and let us say, Blessed is the source of goodness in this world that calls us to the sacred work of healing. And we say, Amen. I invite folks to rise as you're able as we turn once again towards the east for Alenu, page 38. These words that give us an image of the way the world might be, the way the world could become. And a reminder in this very first word, Alenu, that it is upon us. Alenu l'shabeach l'adon hako, l'atekiru l'aliotze breshit, shelo asanu kigoye haratzot, velo samanu kmishpachor hadama, shelo sam chelkenu kahem, Vigoralenu keho hamonam, Vianachnu korim, Umistachavim umodim, Lifne melech, Malche hamlachim, Hakadosh parechu, Sheuno te shamaim, Vioser aret, Umosha vicaro bashamaim imaa, Ushrina to zo, Ushrina to zo. Begove me romi, who elo enu, enon, emen makenu, efesulato, kakatu, betorato, via datayom, via datayom, via shevota, elevo veha, ki adonai, ua elohim. Bashamai mima'a Be'ala aretz, be'ala aretz Mi'itachat enon V'nemar v'haya Adonai L'melech ha'koa aretz B'yom ha'u, b'yom ha'u Ye Adonai Echad Ushemo 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 Echad If you're standing, you may be seated. So we take a moment as we do at the end of every service to think of those, not just those that we have lost, but those who are in mourning. So if you are in mourning right now, if you're saying Kaddish, whether you are in the year of mourning, whether you're experiencing the immediacy of loss of Shiva, of Shloshim, whether it's the yard site, the annual anniversary of losing someone, or whether you're just missing them today, I invite you to put up a hand or rise or some other way that we can acknowledge you and hear the names. Or Sue of a blessed, blessed memory. For your grandparents, for John and Carol, do they have grandparent names? Mimi. Mimi and Buddy. I like it. I like it. Of a blessed memory, Mimi and Buddy. 
For Ralph, for Ralph, thinking of Ralph, absolutely, absolutely. Other names? You have names from the stream, Michael? Yes, we're remembering Freda Lynn Peel, the art site of Samuel R. Amiton, and Christopher McCandless. Of a blessed memory, of a blessed memory. And those that we're saying Kaddish for right now in our community, for Yakir Hexter, for Janice Garbayo, for Judy Crivet and Gina Rotman, for Myra Levine and Geraldine Schiller, for Rick Isserman and Barry Chapnick, for Ernest Nicholson and Rosalind Rosenthal, for Ralph, for Ralph Wafer, and for Philip Needleman, uh, an amazing presence at Wash U uh, in, I believe, the chemistry department, but just did remarkable, remarkable things in his career, and the dad of our own Nina Needleman. For Suzanne Mondello and Roger Goldman, for Marlene Eisenstein, for Emil Nathan and Jeff Jappa, for Dennis Epstein, for Barry Friedman and Miriam Weintraub, for Carol Liebson, for Roxanne Holloway and Rose Waldman, for Carrie James, for Marjorie Shepard, for Aaron Coleman and Linda Polsky, for Linda Randall, for Maurice Ferron, for Susan Hockman and Tovia Siegel, for Morton Orenstein, Shabbat Shalom. In Israel, since October the 7th, there have been 1,485 people positively identified as being murdered, 14,612 wounded, 134 hostages. The Ministry of Defense estimates that currently there are fewer than 100 hostages who remain alive. There are 26 victims who remain unidentified. This week, Uriel Baruch, 35, Zahar Basara, 38, Staff Sergeant Nassim Kachlon, 21, Staff Sergeant Lior Raviv, 21, Sergeant Major David Garfinkel, 21, Warrant Officer Sebastian Haon, 51. Staff Sergeant Matan Vinogradov, 20. Captain Daniel Perez, 22. Sergeant Major Alon Korydashov, 22. Thank you, Steve. I think of all of those we've lost in Israel, we think of all of those whose lives have been lost in Gaza. We think of all of those, all of those lives who have been cut too early by choice, by human choices. A reminder that we don't have to choose this. We can choose differently. And so for all these names, for all of these worlds, for those losses half a world away and for those losses right here, I invite everyone as you're able to rise as we say the words of Mourner's Kaddish. These ancient words which don't mention death, they affirm life. Page 41. Yitkadal v'yitkadash shamei rabba belma divra chirutei v'yam lich malchutei v'chai yechon uv'yomechon Uvchaye de Hol Beit Yisrael, Bagala Uvizman Kari Vimru, Amen. Yehe Shme Rabba Mivorach Leolam Lome Almaya, Yit Barach, Vish the Bach, Viet Paar, Viet Romam, Viet Nase, Vieta Dar, Vieta Le, Vieta Lao, Shme de Kudusha, Brihu, Leela Min Kol Birchata Vishirata, Tushbechata Venechamata, 
Dami Ran Bealma Bimru Amen. Yehe Shlama Rabba Min Shamaya Bihaim Malenu Vel Kol Israel Bimru Amen. Ose Shalom Bim Romav Hu Ya Se Shalom Alenu Vel Kol Israel Vel Kol Yush Ve Tevel Bimru Amen. Ose shalom bim roma, uya se shalom alenu, be ako Israel, be ako yoshvetebe, be imru. Shalom bim Roma, Uya se shalom alenu, Vea ko Yisrael, Vea ko Yosvete May the memories of all of those that we miss, all of those that we mourn for, be a blessing. We say, Amen. I invite everyone to be seated for a second as we uh, take a moment for the holy task of announcements. The great, the great mitzvah of announcements. Shabbat shalom. So. Uh, Okay, let's see. There are so many announcements here. We're going to have to pick and choose. Okay, let's start with Passover because Passover is coming. It sounds ominous, but I, I don't know about you. I love Passover. Uh, I do. I'm, I'm like so into the ritual of it all. Uh, I call it LARPing. Do you all know what LARPing is? Let's see, people are, who know what LARPing is are laughing at me now. Live action role play. Like imagine you're going out into the woods dressed as... Uh, Renaissance people and fighting with each other, right? Like the um, uh, Passover is Jewish LARPing. That's what it is. We spend a week LARPing as those who have fled from Egypt. And the idea, the hope is that if we do this, that it can change how we see the world around us the rest of the year. So Passover is coming, and if you'd like to LARP around with us, uh, uh, there's all sorts of things that are going to be happening. First, seders. Uh, so as always, there will be a second night seder here at CRC, hosted by Rabbi Randy. Uh, find the link on the website. It should be up soon. It's on the announcements, so maybe it's on the website. It's up. It's on the, announce on the website. Uh, so you can sign up uh, for that. Uh, okay, now this isn't on the website yet, but it is coming. The Sunday right before Pesach. Is that the 23rd? First, I believe it is. Okay, so Passover, as I'm sure many folks know, is incredibly, well, it can be as ritually uh, crazy, let's just say, as you might like it to be. If you've ever seen pictures of the kitchens covered in foil, have people seen this? Oh, go, if not, go type in to Google Passover kitchens foil and you'll see kitchens just covered in tin foil to prevent anything that's not pesadika from touching anything else. It's quite funny, um, and so it looks like something you do to your friend as a prank. Uh, but that's because there are all of these traditions and rituals of making our spaces sacred, of making them different, of creating the rules of the game that we play. So if you'd like to come and learn some of the more traditional rules and traditional ways of doing Passover, uh, so that you can pick and choose, because of course this is what it means to be a Reformed Jew, is to figure out what is meaningful to you. 
Uh, but if you'd like to come learn, the Sunday before Pesach, I'm going to be doing a program here where we will learn some of the nitty gritty about keeping kosher for Passover. Uh, and then we will collectively kosher the CRC kitchen for Pesach. Uh, so we're going to get out the big tubs of water. We're going to boil it. We're going to put boiling water on the surface. We're going to do all the things. Blow torches are coming. I mean, it's um, so if you'd like to uh, uh, try that out, if you've never done anything like that, I invite you to join us that Sunday right before Pesach. Avi's wanting to know the time, which, you know, would be helpful, wouldn't it? Uh, I want to say, no, I'm not even going to say. It'll be on the website soon. Uh, in fact, keep your eyes peeled. We're going to send out an uh, email that'll have all the various Passover options uh, and things happening. There's a whole bunch more happening for Pesach as well. Uh, the tikkun closet, where we collect uh, clothing and food for those in need, uh, is in need. Uh, so in particular, we need individually packed, ready-to-eat-and-drink food items. So juices and waters and um, pop-top cans that you can open up that you don't have to um, have a can opener for. Uh, ravioli, beefaroni, tuna, these are the options here, but... Uh, they're also looking in particular for men's large, extra large, and extra, extra large clothing. So if you have any of that laying around at home, uh, it's very much in demand and needed. Uh, Rabbi Jim's uh, new book launch uh, is happening this Thursday the 4th uh, here at CRC uh, at 7 p.m., so join us for that. There's a new and prospective members gathering on April 6th, and there are so many more announcements, but we're not going to read all of them. Uh, so head to the website or read the email. Any crowdsourced announcements from here? Yes, Sarah. The petition, yes. Is there someone here collecting signatures? You're collecting signatures. If you have not signed uh, and would like to sign the uh, 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 initiative petition form to put abortion access on the ballot as a constitutional right here in the state of Missouri. Uh, for those who don't know, by the way, it is fair to say that access to abortion is a religious requirement for Jews who can become pregnant. Uh, so our synagogue is committed to uh, doing everything we can to enshrining these rights in our state constitution. Uh, and actually, this community was founded as a pro-choice uh, abortion rights community from its very beginning. It was in our founding documents. Uh, so find Sarah if you'd like to sign and have not. Uh, you only get to sign once. It's like voting. Um, any other announcements? My class, join us 5.30 on Tuesdays, Story of Us, the ongoing story of the story of the Jewish people. It sounds confusing, join us at 5.30. It's, you know, uh, we're looking at the history of the story we've told ourselves as Jews and how that has changed. Uh, or to say it differently, the Orthodox like to tell us that the way that they do Judaism is traditional. But the thing is, if you go back 500 years, the way that they did Judaism doesn't look like the Orthodox. And you go 500 years before that, and it doesn't look like the traditionalists of that era. And you, you keep going backwards, and we have always changed. It is the one universal. Uh, so we are just leaving the Roman era, and we are moving to Babylon and the creation of the Talmud. Uh, so join us 5.30 Tuesdays in person in the library or on Zoom, and that's enough announcements. Uh, let's give each other a blessing. Noah Leah, will you come up here, sweetie? So we put our arms around each other. See, if I make her come up here with me, she can't be loud back there. That's the, it's possible you were a little loud tonight, my love. Oh. But she begs to come every Friday night to services, begs. It's the sweetest. Okay, let's give each other a blessing. May we be blessed and kept safe. 
May we take some of the light of these Shabbos candles. May we take some of the light from each other and bring it into ourselves and the places we need it. And refract it out into the world and the places where it needs it. And most of all, may we have the greatest gift of all, the gift of peace. And we say, Shabbat Shalom. Can I talk into you? No. Please. Please.